Dr. Jassy, can you explain why D-penicillamine is a better agent to use for heavy metal challenge um, as opposed to DMSA or DMPS? Yes, very interesting question. Why D-penicillamine, yes. Why DMSA, DMPS, EDTA, EGTA, OSR, no. Penicillamine is rather unique. It is agnostic, which means it picks up all divalent or doubly charged minerals. So with D-penicillamine, uniquely, you can get the essential mineral status, and very often people are low in magnesium or zinc or other essential minerals. And because they're low in those essential minerals, their body pores, their body ion channels, take up too much of the toxic metals that are in the environment, in the food supply, in the water supply. Um, and when we're low in magnesium and other minerals, then the ion channels tend to take up more of the toxic minerals because they're so hungry for the essential ones. So you want information about the essential minerals, which only D-penicillamine provides. But then you also want to get all of the toxic metals, all of the divalent cations, without selectively chelating or complexing any one. And what do I mean by that? EDTA has a very high specificity for lead. EDTA does not have a high specificity for any other toxic mineral. So you get a selective outpouring of minerals. And very often the clinician thinks, oh, EDTA gets all toxic minerals. It is true that when you do an EDTA chelation, one of the side effects is that the body starts throwing off the toxic metals, which it wants to get rid of. However, EDTA, DMSA, DMPS, OSR, EGTA, they are all selective in contrast to D-penicillamine. And now there's another virtue of D-penicillamine. D-penicillamine is an amino acid, a simple amino acid. It's mercaptovalene, or it's dimethylcysteine, for those of you who are into the biochemistry. It's a simple amino acid. It goes everywhere that cysteine and methionine go, which is everywhere. It goes across the blood-brain barrier. It picks up toxic metals in the brain. It removes them from the brain without redepositing them at the choroid plexus or the blood-brain barrier, which some studies with EDTA suggest that the EDTA does pick up, but then transfers toxic metals to the choroid plexus where the spinal fluid is produced, transfers toxic metals at the blood-brain barrier or at the loop of Henle in the kidney. And so there are reasons for concern about EDTA, DMSA, DMPS, OSR as provocative agents. In contrast, the simple amino acid, D-penicillamine, chelates, that is complexes with the toxic metals, as well as the essential minerals. And so in one 24-hour urine specimen, you get the array of essential minerals and the array of toxic minerals uh, that can be reported back to you by any lab using ICP mass spec, and the good laboratories today all use ICP mass spec, which is a high precision testing uh, for accurate mineral detection. And you find that D-penicillamine gives you both the essential as well as the toxic minerals, uh, reflecting the body's burden rather than the selectivity of the material like DMPS uh, as a provocative agent. Now, I know the companies that sold the MPS and others marketed heavily the fact that you could get toxic minerals increased in the urine, although, and I think this is important, the labs do not have ranges for provoked specimens. So when you compare results with the laboratory ranges, you're comparing a provoked specimen with a non-provoked specimen, and I'm not sure how to even do that. Whereas when we standardize the D-penicillamine assay, and we have this in our, our long protocol, <clears throat> we give you the ranges for healthy people who did the D-penicillamine protocol for both nutritional and toxic minerals, 
to show you a reference to compare individuals who were healthier when the depenicillamine provocation was done. So depenicillamine, yes. Other chelating agents, no. But I will put in a footnote, which is that ascorbate, vitamin C in our fully buffered, fully reduced L form, ascorbate also chaperones toxic metals out of the body, and so do sulfur-rich compounds, garlic, ginger, onions, brassica, sprouts, and eggs, GGOBE is the acronym, and sulfur amino acids are needed, including cysteine and methionine, along with other essential minerals. Because when you have enough of the good stuff, you tend to keep the bad stuff out of the body or have the energy to remove it from the body biologically, safely, and continuously. So yes, we have lots more toxic metal exposure today, but we know how to get the accurate information with deep penicillamine and combining that with biological detoxification for even better, safer outcomes. 